You know, guys, it's always nice when one of the tech giants perhaps sees the error of their way or maybe more accurately hears enough backlash to change the thing that they were about to do. We're talking about one such instance today, specifically regarding Microsoft's window recall option. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is a new feature that will be on what they're calling Copilot Plus PCs. Basically, what we're talking about is a new sort of line or segment of PCs that have a processor in them which has sufficient uh, neural processing unit power to run different AI tasks. Basically, think of it as the Chromebook Plus of the Windows world. On these PCs that are Copilot Plus PCs, this recall feature will effectively be taking a screenshot of your screen after this is done, a thing called OCR, which stands for, I believe, Optical Character recognition will be run on each screenshot, which makes each screenshot searchable. At that point, that information is indexed. What is the point of this? Well, the point of it is so that at any point, you can run a search that will take you back through the last month, two months, three months of everything you've done on your computer, allowing you to jump right back to what you were doing, or just basically find information. It is a memory, if you will, of everything you've been doing. You can imagine different ways where that might indeed be helpful. The problem that we ran into is that it was discovered that this index was not properly secured, and therefore, if a hacker was able to gain control over your PC, these things would be accessible to them. It was stored in, apparently, plain text. Today, after tons of backlash, we have this post on blogs.windows.com where they're going to go over a few pretty big changes they are making to try and ease the nerves that people have, try to regain some of the trust that I think that they lost with lots of things, but also with this feature. So the first thing that they are very happy to point out here is they say, even before making recall available to customers, we have heard a clear signal that we can make it easier for people to choose to enable recall on their Copilot Plus PC and improve privacy and security safeguards. So they're really happy there to say, this hasn't shipped yet. And we're hearing the feedback and we're making changes. And that is true. They have not shipped it yet. But let's be honest, they would have shipped it in the state that it was in had people not gotten upset. The first thing that they're doing is they're updating the setup experience on Copilot Plus PCs to give people a clearer choice to opt in to saving snapshots using recall. And most importantly, I think, if you don't proactively choose to turn it on, it will be off by default. This is a really big deal, and it speaks to how big of a PR mess this was, that one of their premier features is now disabled by default. Unless you say, yes, I want to use this during setup, which is going to require that user to like understand what this is and proactively choose to use it, it will be disabled by default. Again, that's a big deal, and this has to sting for Microsoft, because this was like one of the premier features. So again, it's disabled by default. Secondly, Windows Hello Enrollment is now required and able to start recall. But in addition, proof of presence is also required to view your timeline and search in recall. What does this mean? Well, it means that when you first want to use recall, it's going to use Windows Hello, which could be the face unlock. It could be a fingerprint or something like that. It's going to verify that you are you using a form of biometric authentication. After that happens, it's probably using that camera to confirm that you have not walked away or stepped away. If it detects that you've left and then you come back, you're going to have to authenticate again. I think that that is another good step in the right direction. But I think the biggest thing that they've done is they're adding additional layers of data protection, which they're calling just-in-time decryption, protected by Windows Hello sign and security, so that recall snapshots will only be decrypted and accessible when the user authenticates. In addition, we encrypted the search index database. So unless you have authenticated that you are you, all of this stuff should now be fully encrypted, which I think should ease a lot of people's minds. Now, I think that it's worth mentioning this next section here in the blog post. It seems as though perhaps their thinking was, 
We have done such a good job securing these PCs in general that these things can exist, your recall can exist unencrypted or decrypted on your device. No hacker is going to get control of your computer, therefore it doesn't matter. Personally, I kind of subscribe to the idea that you can never build a wall so tall or so thick that no one can ever get around it or over it, but let's talk about why they might think that. So we come down here to these couple of bullet points. So first off, they say that all Copilot Plus PCs are secured core PCs. Basically what this means is they have protections in place that will help safeguard against like firmware level or kernel level attacks of different sorts. Without diving too deeply into that, my understanding is that they use things like hardware isolation and virtualization to help kind of protect things in that way. Second, they are using Microsoft Pluton security processors to also help secure things even further. So they've got their own, kind of like Google uses those Titan M chips. I guess other companies use the Titan chips as well. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but you know what I mean. Titan M to help kind of secure things. They have their own Pluton processor to help secure things as well. Designed by Microsoft, built by Silicon Partners. Zero trust principles at the core. Helps protect credentials, identities, personal data. So they've got a chip specifically designed to help kind of keep things safe. And of course, they all do have Windows Hello Enhanced Sign-In Security for biometric authentication. Personally, I still think it's rather shocking that this stuff was not encrypted to begin with. I mean, I know that they use BitLocker and that was supposed to help, but it doesn't really work in this circumstance. So with BitLocker, if you power your computer down or you sign out, you have full drive encryption. But the moment you sign in, Everything is unencrypted and you are just there. So all it would take is a hacker gaining access to your computer. You've logged into it and everything is there. Maybe it's sitting, you know, not being used. Maybe it's a public computer. Who knows? Everything's decrypted at that point. And all they have to have is admin access and they could see your entire database. Everything you've done for the last three months is neatly organized, searchable, and exposed, and that was a big, big, big security risk. It seems to me, I want to hear from you guys, but this seems like it's going to address most of our concerns. How on earth, if they're able to do this so rapidly, this was not how it shipped. I could do without the Windows Hello. I could do without the, you know, disabled by defaulting. As long as it was encrypted, I think most people wouldn't have freaked out quite as badly. So again, if this was an option, why did they not do this from the very beginning? It's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around, but I'm glad that it's actually a thing. At this point, in that state, it's something that I might actually use now, but I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Is this enough? Now that all of this stuff is being encrypted on your device, and you pair that with the fact that none of it is supposed to be uploaded to the cloud, this is supposed to all stay local on your device, is this now far enough? Would you now trust this feature and use it? Like I said, hit those comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.